Okay, so for the multiple answer, multiple choice, we're starting off with problem seven, which asks, which of the following can you always find if you know P of E given F and P of F? So let's break down these different answers and their different equivalencies. So P of E and F, the probability that E and F both occur, via Bayes' theorem, we can break this down into the probability of E given F times the probability of F, which that's exactly what we've got. So we know that this has to be a valid answer. The next part is saying the probability of then not E and F happening. So that would equal, via Bayes' theorem again, the probability of not E given F times the probability of F. Now, if we know the probability of E given F, we can also find the probability of not E given F because the probability of not E given F equals one minus the probability of E given F. So from there, we can also find B. Now with C, we're asking for the probability of E and not F, which is equal to the probability of event E given not F times the probability of not F. Now, since we have, let's make that a little clearer. Since we have the probability of F, we can find the probability of not F. However, we don't know the probability of E given not F, and we can't find that using the information given. So we're gonna cross that off of our list. Similarly with problem D, just as we had discussed with problem A and B, this is gonna be equal to the probability of, um, or we just were talking about how we can't find the probability of E given not F. And so in that instance, we don't know this value here. And so we're not gonna be able to find it with the information given. So then lastly, we've got letter E, which is saying the probability of not E given F. And just as we had discussed earlier, the probability of not E given F equals one minus the probability of E given F. And so from there, we can find part E, just as we had explained earlier. So for problem seven, we've got answers A, B, and E.